who are you and where are you from? Uh, my name is Andrew. I'm a UCLA student and I'm originally from San Jose, California. And uh, what's your uh, major there at UCLA? Uh, cognitive science. Wow. And uh, so, do you have a COVID story? Have you had COVID or anyone you've known had COVID? Uh, I haven't tested positive, but I'm pretty certain one of my roommates in the dorms last year had it, back February 2020. Um, and aside from that, I've been pretty, uh, I guess, dormant, so I, I haven't had much exposure to people who had COVID, but it's been an okay year. No family, no friends, nothing? Uh, my, my cousin in the Czech Republic uh, had, had COVID um, after like the country as a whole did a pretty good job managing it at first and then it kind of blew up um, and she got it but everything turned out fine so and, and uh, so at UCLA have you guys been distancing and what, what kind of precautions have you been taking in, in your classes so so I've been living with my roommates off campus all quarter or all year actually because our campus is closed aside from essential services, uh, so like graduate and PhD research, but uh, I want to say in February of this year they opened it back to like undergraduate researchers, um, but aside from that all our, uh, all our classes have been online the whole year and they continue to be, um, but we're supposed to go back in the fall, so. Have there been parties? Have the there's been socialization or, or anything like that? Um, there have been like like pods of people that usually spend time together. Like there's a there's a popular hill called Jan Steps that people go to and watch the sunset and stuff. So people usually meet up over there. Um, I know frats have definitely had their own like they had like new pledge classes and everything throughout this year. Um, but I'm not in Greek life, so I don't really rub shoulders with any of those people too often. And um, yeah, I've mostly spent the year just with my roommates going hiking, biking, beach, stuff like that, so. Has it, uh, has it added to your anxiety level or unhappiness level? I mean, have you been getting together with family and on holidays and friends and? Yeah, I, I have the privilege of having a car down here, so I've been able to drive back uh, like three times since September. For, for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and uh, one other time just for fun. Um, but in terms of anxiety, I really like my roommates. They're my best friends. So we've just been able to spend a lot of time together and also just time alone to like think about the things that I want to do. It's definitely different than like being in college and being able to throw yourself in any situation you want and kind of figure yourself that way. But I've, I mean, equally had an enjoyable experience like really sitting down and, and reading a lot of books that I wouldn't have otherwise read or or like going places like I started volunteering at the farmers market in Santa Monica so I've met a lot of people that way which I probably would have never done because I'd always be like hung over you know so <laughs> yeah. and uh, I was gonna ask that anything good happened this year so that was some yeah of the good stuff yeah uh, there, there was a lot of good stuff that happened this year it, mainly in the way of like solitude and being able to like really slow down and, and think about I feel like I'm in a like fork in in my life with college, like in terms of deciding kind of where I want to start making progress towards. And so being able to have everything really like slow down around me has, has made it a more manageable decision. And I think I've been able to kind of figure things out a little bit. And uh, what about the co government response? Have you, has it been uh, over the top, not enough? Uh, do you have any opinions on that? Um, I mean, I, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm like a numbers person, but I do think that statistics are important. Um, and like with hindsight, it's easy to, it's easy to say that there there would have been better solutions. But um, I feel like in the end, for the most part, um, like aside from financial incentives, everyone was just trying to make the best, most responsible decision possible. Um, so I'm not like upset or anything, but I definitely would have liked for more logical decision, or in, in my eyes, logical decisions to be made in terms of like outdoor dining and small business closures. And then like PPE, I don't think was really fairly distributed. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of also try to stay out of that sort of thing because it's a little bit complex. And uh, you have masked, so you have distance, then you are vaccinated, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I've, I mean, yeah, just, 
I mean, for my sake too, but mostly for other people around me, just in terms of comfort. Like, yeah. Were you at all concerned about the vaccinations? Not really. Um, I do know somebody that works at Trader Joe's though that like refuses to get the vaccine. Um, but aside from that, I think all my friends have been pretty. Um, with some, I don't know what the right word would be, but like they've been pretty fine getting it as soon as it's available, just so we can kind of start making progress to being able to do stuff in college again. Well, that's another last one of the last questions. Uh, what do you see as the future? Is this the new normal, masking and uh, shots, or do you think we've turned a corner? Um, I don't know about shots, but I know like uh, like East Asian countries, like China, like masking has been like. A little bit more common than in the United States and so maybe like in, moving forward it might be kind of like that too. Um, I personally will not be wearing one just because it I, I feel like it gets in the way a lot and if as long as I know that I'm healthy and I'm doing everything I can in the way of like vitamins and stuff like that then I don't know. I haven't really thought about it too much I just think about being cautious I guess. And lastly, uh, looking forward, uh, no, actually, looking back on the year, uh, have you had any, do you have any philosophical retrospective thoughts about life and death uh, or just philosophical uh, ways that you were dealing, this sure. project is about people who are adapting to the COVID year? Um, okay. So, like, if it's specifically germane to the topic, I would, I would say I rethought, like, the fundamental principles of, of certain things, like, this might not make sense, but, like, I, I consider days as, like, nothing really more than containers, and it can be as continuous or discontinuous as you want it to be. You know, like, you wake up every day, you could choose to do the exact same thing and kind of just treat it as, like, the, a single timeline was just, like, a little pause. Or you could just treat it as an entirely new day, and so sometimes, like if I have if I have a project I need to do for like programming or something, I I like to try to treat it as continuous. But if I'm doing something like hanging out with with friends or, or something like that, then I like to have the pauses. I don't know, but yeah. I think thinking of like trying to meta analyze myself too much would probably be a little destructive. So I've tried to avoid that, just knowing myself. <laughs> Well, very good. On this day, the 14th of May, 2021, yeah. on Route 66 and Santa Monica Boulevard. Thank you very much. Of course, yeah. Important note, these interviews attempt to follow how Americans live their daily lives in a pandemic, their behavior and personal belief systems. The views expressed are not those of journalist Michael Sean Comerford, nor any affiliated organizations, past or present. No interview should be considered an endorsement of the opinions expressed by the interviewee. These pandemic-focused interviews document a wide range of views held by individuals along Route 66 from February to May 2021.